minus five, four, three, two, one. I'm Mike. A Monday warrior, mean, mean stride. Today's Tom Sawyer, mean, mean pride. And I'm Dante. And this is the Science Bros. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our channel, and today we're going to be launching the Big Jank, the jankiest model rocket ever built in any engineering classroom anywhere on the globe, I guarantee you. And how much was this? Uh, I don't know, too expensive. I mean, it was like $50. It was like 50 bucks worth of stuff. It was like 50 bucks worth of stuff. Plus, we had most of the stuff lying around, and that's the best part about it. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money to have a heck of a ton of fun. In this rocket, we have a Class G motor. It's a G40, which means it does 40 Newtons average of thrust over an ignition period of two seconds. Yes, this one is a very, very large motor which makes sense because it's a pretty large rocket. Our nose cone and our fins are all 3D printed courtesy of our school's 3D printer. Um, but the entire rest of the stuff is just built using basically PVC and anything you find at Lowe's, so. And it comes into a final weight of just under 500 grams or about 1.1 pounds. All right, so here we have our ignition system. We're using a 12 volt battery connected to a push button switch that is wired to a squib that we have connected to the rocket that will ignite the uh, rocket motor when we're Hopefully. ready to launch. Hopefully it will. Yeah, we hope. Yeah, it's just a commercially available squib that comes in all the like standard rocket motor packs that you buy. Isn't it designed for um, A motors? Yeah, it's designed for A motors, but we're thinking that it should work on basically anything like that because I've used them on stuff up to a D, so. Well, we got a G, so I guess we'll see if that works. We'll find out, who knows, who knows, man. All right, I'm ready to launch this thing. I'm ready to launch it. All right, let's go. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Come on! Work! So day one was a failure. Um, the motor did not launch, in fact. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing. It's pretty embarrassing. We tried basically everything that we could, and we went home, we went back to the drawing board, tried some things out, and burnt one of the motors successfully. And to get it to burn, basically we figured out that we just had to have the fuse all the way up into the fuel block that's inside the motor. And without the fuse physically touching the fuel, it just wasn't gonna light correctly, and even then we're not super confident in it, but we're here at day two, so. The fuse is a full two inches farther into the motor, so if this does not work, we are sticking a morning glory up it to launch it. Yeah. This thing is going to launch today, whether I, it likes it or not. Actually, I'll say the motor's gonna light today. I don't know if it's actually gonna launch the rocket anyway, but the motor's gonna light. We, we know that for pretty sure, you know? All right, let's do it. Final time. Let's right. do it. Drone is rolling. Gamma 2 is rolling. 1 and 3 are also rolling. Gamma 4 is rolling. Ready to launch. System set up. Okay, so that worked. Sort of. So our max altitude is less than three thousand or three kilometers, but because we hadn't had an angle. But uh, there's a good chance that its horizontal range is approaching a kilometer. <laughs> in all fairness, that would depend upon us doing the math right. Uh, but also, the motor burned 
Actually, I don't know what the motor burn time was because we haven't seen the videos, but it seemed to be longer than two seconds. If we're basing it off the one last night, yeah. it was like five seconds of burn time. And it's, it's advertised as two seconds with a total impulse of, what, 140 newton seconds or something like that? Impulse is defined in physics as the change in momentum of an object. So it's kind of how much a force acting over a particular period of time changes where or how an object is moving. All right, so modern model rocket engines use a motor classification system where you have a letter like B, a number which could be something like 12, a dash, and then a number like three. So in this case, we have a B12-3 motor, which means that it has a total impulse in the B range. The 12 signifies that the average thrust is 12 newtons. And then the 3 here is the motor delay, which is the delay in seconds between the burnout of the propellant charge and the ignition of the ejection charge. That's how long you have that the motor kind of coasts in the rocket before the ejection charge blows the parachute out of it. So our motor was a G40-7. So it's in the G motor classification which is the largest motor class and most powerful motor class that you can use without having to have a special rocketry license. It has an average thrust of 40 newtons and a motor delay of 7 seconds. So this is really quite a powerful motor and has a total impulse of 97 newton seconds. So the way that we get that total impulse is by multiplying the average thrust of 40 newtons by the burn time of 2.38 seconds. So really what we're looking at here is the impulse, because that's how much the motor is able to change the momentum of the rocket and really make the rocket move. So that's the most important number that we're looking for here, but you need to have a rocketry, like data sheet for the motor to be able to get that. Here, rocket, rocket, rocket. All right, we're trying to find big jank over here. Um, so it could have gone as much as a kilometer. Um, and so I'd say we're about, maybe half a kilometer away from the launch site right now. So we're just looking for any sign of it. We also didn't hear the um, blast charge go off for the parachute, so um, it could have come down hard. I'm not worried about it breaking, I'm just worried about actually finding it. So it appears we've lost the big jank. It launched from right behind that and over this way. It could be anywhere from the shore here all the way to the shore on the opposite side of the cove. So we basically have zero chance of recovering it, uh, which we weren't planning on it uh, originally, but uh, would have been nice to get a second shot of it, that's for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. I hope you're as surprised as we are that our rocket actually launched and that it launched so successfully. It was, it was quite the surprise to us. We hope you guys enjoyed it and be sure to like and hit subscribe.